You do not need to play Grand Theft Auto to rob some banks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to exploit brokerages, banks, credit cards, and apps to snag over $2,000 by spending money you were going to spend anyway. At the time of this video, Christmas is right around the corner. I'm about to spend a lot of money. Between vacations and gifts, now is the perfect time to take advantage of bonuses. Businesses love to dangle these sign up bonuses in front of our noses to get us trapped in whatever account or card or web they have spun. Well, I say now it's time to turn the tables. Well, 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 how the turntables Let's get into it. There are five different avenues that you can exploit this Christmas season to rack up money. Enough money to fund both your winter vacation and your gift budget. I'm gonna quickly go through each one, starting with the smallest and ending with the largest. Your first mission is to buy all of your Christmas gifts for your friends and family through a cash back app. If you're gonna buy a bunch of gifts, you might as well get paid to do it. There is only one cash back app that I could find that can be coupled with a credit card. This is a key feature because it allows you to double dip. One purchase gets you cash back from two different sources. According to Gallup polling, Americans estimate they will spend $975 this year on Christmas gifts. For this mission and the following missions, we will use a budget of $1,000 for Christmas gifts and a budget of $1,000 for vacation spending. That gives us a target of $2,000 in bonuses to fund our Christmas spending. The app of choice for your first mission is Rakuten. As you can see, several stores offer cash back in the range of five to 10% through this app. Stores include Nike, Samsung, Macy's, and many more. Completing this mission will net you roughly seven and a half percent on your full $1,000 Christmas budget totaling 75 bucks. On top of that, if you divide up your shopping between you and your significant other, you can cash in on the referral bonus by referring them and getting an extra $35. This brings your reward for this mission up to 110 bucks. Your second mission is just the first attack on a bank. In this mission, we are going after the savings account sign up bonus. For this mission, you're gonna need some cash on hand. There's just no way around it. I have researched all of the savings account bonuses and I have located the easiest one. TD Bank offers a $200 cash sign up bonus for opening a savings account and depositing $10,000. Ideally, you already have an emergency fund that you can utilize for this. $10,000 is a lot of money. So if you cannot complete this mission, it's not a huge deal. You're only missing out on $200. As for extraction, you can get out with your $200 after 90 days if you're not interested in keeping TD Bank as your emergency fund account. Now, if you have more than $10,000 on the side, you can get even bigger bonuses. Wells Fargo offers $525 if you deposit $25,000 into their savings account. Other banks will offer thousands of dollars, but of course you have to deposit hundreds of thousands of dollars to get that kind of a bonus. For this mission, $200 from TD Bank will be considered a success. Your third mission will have you target a brokerage account. Surely you have heard of Robinhood or Charles Schwab. These brokerages will commonly offer a sign-up bonus in the form of cash or shares of stock. To get access to these sign-up bonuses, you just need to fund your account. The brokerage account that you will go after for this mission is Webull. If you open an account and deposit $500, Webull will give you 20 fractional shares of stock. Each share will be worth between three and $3,000. Now don't be fooled the chances of you receiving even one share worth $3,000 is incredibly low. For this mission, we will assume that you'll get the minimum, $60 worth of fractional shares. Webull also has a really good referral program. For this mission, once again, you're gonna utilize your significant other. Send them your referral code, have them open an account, fund it with $500. They will receive an additional 20 fractional shares worth at least 60 bucks, and you will receive $100 worth of Apple stock. This brings your total reward for this mission up to $220 worth of stock that you can immediately sell for cash.
The fourth mission has you going back to the banks for more money. This time we will be exploiting the checking account signup bonus. This one is much easier than exploiting the savings account. You do not need to have thousands of dollars of cash on hand. You only need a paycheck. To complete this mission, you will need to set up direct deposit with the new checking account. There are so many banks out there competing for your business. I've analyzed them all, and the easiest one to churn is US Bank. Within 90 days of opening this account, you need direct deposits totaling at least $5,000 to secure a $300 bonus. If your direct deposits total at least $10,000, then you'll get a $500 bonus. This means you need an after-tax income of about $40,000 to hit $10,000 in three months. Once again, you can utilize your significant other if y'all share finances. To ensure that you get $10,000 of direct deposit in the first 90 days, you can both deposit into the same account. Or if your incomes are high enough, you could both double down and get twice the bonus. For this mission, we will consider $500 from US Bank as a success. If you think the rewards for these first missions are good, just wait until you see the next one. Hopefully you're finding this valuable. If so, please give me a like down below. My first mission is to help you make more money and save more money. My second mission is to get 1,000 subscribers in the first year. Thanks for the support. The fifth and most lucrative mission has you going after a credit card. And not just any credit card, the best in churning and travel bonuses. This card gives you a massive sign up bonus, travel credits, and travel perks for your winter vacation and your gift shopping. A great credit card will give you benefits, not only in bonuses and perks, but also in cash back from spending. You and I both know there are so many credit cards out there. Lucky for you, I spent weeks building the ultimate credit card spreadsheet. I was able to mathematically determine the best credit card to go after in this mission. The VentureX credit card is looked over by many because of the massive annual fee of $395. I know that's intimidating, but stay with me. If you're gonna go on at least one trip this Christmas, then you will immediately recoup $300 in the form of a travel. Second, if you plan to scoop up Global Entry or TSA PreCheck, the VentureX card will get you that for free. That is a value of $100. Third, if you're like me, you like to get to the airport early and relax, get some food and have a beer. With the VentureX card, you get access to the Capital One Lounge in the airport where you get all you can eat and all you can drink for free. If you and your significant other are gonna take at least a couple trips this year, then this is gonna be at least $100 in value. Fourth, the sign up bonus is huge for VentureX. You will get $750 worth of miles if you spend $4,000 in the first three months of having the card. Since we are already assuming you're gonna spend $1,000 on Christmas gifts and $1,000 on a Christmas vacation, then you are already halfway there. The final source of value is gonna be miles earned from spending. In this case, one mile is gonna be roughly equivalent to one cent. You get two miles for every dollar spent minimum on all purchases. You get five miles per dollar spent on flights and you get 10 miles per dollar spent on hotels and rental cars if you purchase purchase them through the Capital One Travel app. After spending the first $4,000 on your VentureX card on gifts, travel, and regular expenses, you will get back roughly $135 in miles. When you add that to your net gain, accounting for the annual fee from your sign up bonus, travel credit, and travel perks, you get a total value from the VentureX card of $990. After completing the five missions outlined in this video, you will come away with $2,020 in bonuses. That being said, the biggest bonus by far comes from the VentureX credit card. If you already have the VentureX credit card or you're not eligible for the sign up bonus for some reason, then you will need a backup plan. Lucky for you, I have a whole series on the best credit cards for regular use and churning sign up bonuses. If you'd like to use my spreadsheet to do your own analysis using your own budget to see which credit card is best for you, you can find a link in the description below for free. For some of the best, check out this video on the other Capital One credit cards or this video on the Chase credit cards. If you executed these missions properly, you should have gained lots of extra cash and you should not have gained too many extra stars. Till next time.